as someone that's written so many books at a high level, how, how many copies of your books do you sell a year? Probably a hundred K. I mean, I would say a hundred thousand books. You know. So like, how do you avoid becoming egotistical, hungry, always learning? Because I feel like when you've got all that book sales, you got everyone watching the university and you, keep, you slow down the learning or the optimization. I've got this like constant thing. I'm always looking for the, what's going to kill me, right? What's going to take me out? So I, I'm going to answer your question and I'm going to tell you a story. It's hard to, to keep the ego in check, especially when you started off with a big ego to begin with. Part of being in sales is you, you have to have a level of humility, but you also have to have a level of this natural confidence that you can accomplish anything. The hard thing for me, and this is being completely transparent is the more popular the books have become, the more popular I've become, the hardest thing is, is that everybody wants a piece of you. Text messages to emails, to phone calls, to LinkedIn, to, you know, it's like everybody sounds like this. Hey, can, can I just get 10 minutes of your time? We're doing a book club. Can you come talk to my group? And another person says, hey, could you just, I just want to pick your brain for just a minute. And, and could I do this? And could I do this? And could I do this? And it's just, it, it's, it's like, it never stops. Part of you is like, okay, look, I'm a badass. I've written 13 books. I'm, you know, I like, I did a keynote yesterday with 2,700 people. How many people get to do that? You know, the, the amount of money that I make per day now is just obscene compared to with where I started. Cause when I started, it was, I tell you what, I won't charge you anything. Will you buy 10 copies of my books for your group? And, I, and I'll come speak. Like I spoke anywhere, anytime. Like if, if you would, if I would drive there, I would do anything. I've, I've crashed really? fares, you name it. Today, I have to have a conversation with my people all the time. I said, don't forget where we came from. Like, don't forget when, you know, when, when we thought getting a thousand dollars to spend a day with a group of salespeople was a good thing. Like when that was awesome. And today, you know, we're saying it's $40,000, you know, don't forget that because as soon as we step out of that, we lose our ability to provide a good customer experience. It's not being egotistical, it's being arrogant. And there's nothing wrong like with being authentic and being yourself and being those things. But when you forget your audience, right? When you quit being connected with your audience, that's when you start crossing into arrogance and that's when you start making enemies. And frankly, you think about it, every single human buys a book. Like if I could stop and just grab you and give you a hug and say, thank you. Like you went and bought something that I wrote and you're consuming it. I don't want to ever, ever, ever forget that.